Well, 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 welcome back, family. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Sharon, of course, and my co-host. You know, Jamal, we back at it again. Yeah, man. Can we have some time off? Can we have a vacation? <laughs> hey, on vacation and rest for the weary. Mm. You get vacation when you're dead. Whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> well, folks, let's see if I can try to tell you what we got going on here today. Um, Tyrese Gibson. And I'm listening to it, and I don't think he said anything wrong out of the way or false or nothing. But he was just talking about how blacks don't stick together, how we don't respect you ain't each other. Me again. Huh? You ain't gonna do me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, my co-host. Jamal, we back at it. Did you feel left out? Yeah, I feel left out. You felt like a redheaded <laughs> stepchild. Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, like I was saying, uh, they criticizing Tyrese for what he said. And I, I don't see nothing wrong with what he said. They took what he said out of context and tried to make it into something totally different than what this man said. But I'll let you listen to it. Um, then you tell me what you think. And we got this from I am Elo, Eliho, or whatever her name is. Hmm. Whatever. She's a Lee Ho. A uh, Lee Ho. Oh. I'm well, not a Lee Ho. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's put the cocaine down. Ooh. What a suckers. Hey, so during the month that we all acknowledge blackness and the contributions of black American ancestry and its impact on this country, we have Tyrese Gibson publicly saying that he wishes he was Latino. I say, eh? He posted on Instagram, sometimes I wish I was born Latino. I mean, the Latin community is grounded in family, loyal, entrepreneurs, businessmen and women, literally represent the dream, the grind, the hustle, doing whatever it takes to stick together against all odds. If us as black culture was more grounded in these integral, magical nuances of us, we would be dominant. He says, I've learned a lot from the Jewish community sticking together, eating dinner every Friday together. I've learned a lot about the Muslim community throughout all my travels in the Middle East. They have a father structure where they honor their fathers in the Middle East. The thinking and the mentality is that they would much rather have a son over a daughter because they know that there is nothing like the leadership of a father and a man being the head of the household. I have no idea how we lost our way. Yeah, you know, because we self, a lot of us are selfish and greedy and all about ourselves. Now, you heard of that man. That man did not say he wished he was Latin. He says sometimes he wished. Mm -hmm. you no, know, sometimes when I see the male and female pookies and ray rays running the street, running wild, acting like wild hyenas, sometimes I wish I was something else. Yeah. Hmm. No lies, no deception indicated. I mean, all the men, everything the man said was true. Hispanics, Asians, Jews, Muslims, Jews, they stick together. together. I mean, they work together. I mean, uh, they, they come over here, the Asians come over and open up a restaurant and 15 members of their family work in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. They don't have to hire nobody. It's a family thing. Mexicans come over here. We've been over here, what, four, a little over 400 mm -hmm. years? Yep. And the Mexicans come over here and start meat markets and, and all kind of stuff. And they got their families working. And, mm -hmm. and but black people? They all do the roofing coming together, the electrical, the half back, and all that. All of us. Get, get your own. I got mine. Get your own. Mm -hmm. I, and I seen this firsthand. Uh, when I, was, I, was, I, I spent some time um, at my sister's house. I won't say she where she lived. But I spent some time at my sister's house. And this Mexican family moved across the street. And there had to be about 10 of them in that house. And of course, the house wasn't big enough for them. The man got together and built two rooms on to that house in a matter of months. Mm. They all worked together. They all came out. You know, after they did the work, they had a little beer fest, but hey. They built rooms onto their house. I mean, it looked like a professional did it. Well, it was permanent or not, that's not my business. Now, how many blacks you seen came together and did it? All the black, the, the, a, lot, a lot of the pookies and red rays, the uh, big mama's house can be leaning 
And you think they go come together and try to uh, 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 build it up? Nope. Hey, no. I haven't seen it happen. And you're not going to see it happen. Now, I, I'm not saying everybody, so don't come for me. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people go say, well, white people, get, I don't care what white people doing. I don't, I'm talking about black folks. Oh, well. We're not white, so we ain't talking about the white people doing. I know what we do. Mm -hmm. I know how we act. And, he, and everything he said about black people, right? We hate each other. We kill each other. We put each other down. The women uh, putting the black men down. The black men putting the black women down. And we don't raise our children. They run in the streets like little baby hyenas. And, <laughs> well. <laughs> baby hyenas. <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> wrong, but... They had baby hyenas. Well, they, they parents hyenas, so they got to be baby hyenas. Is that right? So they run in the street. They got guns. Uh, 12, 13 year old got guns, robbing, uh, carjacking. And uh, really? Really? I mean, we, uh, we're not progressing. See how we're going backwards. Yeah, that's very true. And, and look at all these, all these uh, uh, black men in prison. Not just black men, black women there too. And don't say, they white people. Yes, I know they white people in prison, but I don't care. I'm talking about black people. Are you just speaking roots over there? <laughs> <laughs> all these black people in prison. If they're not already in prison, they're doing activities to put them in there. All right, I'll play some more to But wait a minute, I got, I got one more thing to say. If, if, if a Benny black men and women that's in prison would flood the black colleges and all the other colleges, the world would be a better place. You'd rather be in prison than in college. Come on now. No. We got one neighbor. I ain't going to say his name. He helped out. He helped paint the basement, hang the TV. You kind of telling his name. And, and, and this is a black guy. Then we got the other black guy. Oh, Lord. He thought he was going to come over and take over our property. Ray Ray. Ray Ray thought he will come over and take our property. After I told him I don't mind his fence being two feet on his property. Um, I, th I think you, you... I don't care. I don't <laughs> care if you hear it or not. <laughs> then he's trying to act bad and call the police over our property. And then he had the nerve to walk around cutting his grass with a gun on his hill. I mean, right. what were we going to do to him? We were going to go out there and attack him? I mean, <laughs> why are you going to uh, attack a loser? Why you want to go to prison messing with a loser? The problem is, a lot of black people don't know how to mind, mind, mind their own business. They worry about what's going on in somebody else's yard. They need to tend to their own business. I mean, mm. th I mean that's just the way we are. Mm. We, we, we don't respect each other. I mean, we just... We just... <sighs> Why? I don't know. I'll well, put some more to the video. We can't get anything done and accomplished as a fragmented culture, insecure, threatened by each other, yes. competitive towards our own race, yes. killing ourselves yes. every single day. Fervously, the majority of us is black men and the millions are locked up in prison. Yes. Of course, we are beyond powerful, influential, and successful. But imagine if we all linked up like the other communities have linked, That's right. poured and yeah. built up on each other instead of moving like fragmented and dysfunctional. We have what it takes to take over the world. We are nothing trying to do it alone. Please chime in. We'd love to know your thoughts on this. I ain't say nothing wrong with what he just said. He ain't said nothing wrong. We are fragmented. Mm -hmm. We don't want to work together. We 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 hate each other. Mm -hmm. We kill each other. We sitting up there in prison look like dummies. Mm -hmm. Making the making the white man rich. Cause he get paid for us being in prison. Yeah, because we we not run we don't own no contract in prison. We don't. And 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 they they work with the government and their stipulation was keep the prison ninety percent full. Yeah. And they get up sitting up there getting fat pockets because you sitting up there like a dummy killing instead, each other. Yeah, and selling drugs instead of going to college. Mm. I mean, they they have Pell grants. They have financial aid, they have everything for you to go to school. And who said, you don't have to go to a four-year school. You sure don't. You can go to trade school, make good money. Yeah. I mean, or go to truck driving school. Truck drivers mm -hmm. make good money. That's I true. mean, you, you don't have to go to a, a four-year college, but you're too trifling and too lazy. Yeah. 
Some mothers, some mothers won't even get a high school diploma. Too violent. <laughs> you want to go out and take what you want. I ain't working. I ain't working. I'm going to go over there and take, take what they got. And this man, and, and we, we, we are fragmented. Yeah, if we true. will come together, if we will come together, a lot of the stuff that we deal with, with we don't have to. That's true. I mean. I, I'll play some more. Child, and the people's thoughts on this was. Let's sit your dumb ass down. <laughs> when you want Chuck to disappear. Oh, yes. All you have to do is point. And this is why during the civil rights movement, black people were very intentional about being loud and proud about who they are. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud because you can fall into Stop these. That. that, what she said, don't mean jack. I can sit here and tell me, I'm black and I'm proud. Well, I'm going to say it loud. Well, well, what, what, are you, you what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. What, what are you doing? Yeah, everybody know you black and everybody know you loud. But what are you doing to make your communities better? What are you doing to make you better? I mean, Martin Luther King died for you trifling mm -hmm. people. I mean, if, if he could have, if, if, if God would have him the insight to see what the future going to look like, I bet him like, <laughs> I'm going to sit down on this one. I think I'm going to just stay in the church. Just stay mm -hmm. in the church. Mm -hmm. I ain't going out here getting beat up, locked up, and all this stuff. For the trifling people. That's true. I mean, you know, I, I get embarrassed sometimes. When, when, every time I look in the paper or on TV or on the internet, I see a black face that mm -hmm. killed another black face. That's true. Every, see, every other day. I, I mean, yes. I mean, this is so stupid. I was, Sometimes I'm thinking, Lord, have mercy. What is this mess? What, can we ever change? Who knows? Let's play some more. Holes where you start looking at other people and other cultures and other races and thinking they're better than me because he didn't say that. it's crazy. I think Tyrese sometimes forgets that he acquired his success and fame and oh, wealth. No, 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 no. She, 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 she okay. twisting the story now. She's going to. He did not say them other races are better. He said they get along better. And they come together. They come together. He didn't say they are better than mm -hmm. us. He said we could be a powerful force if we come together and work. That's, that's what he true. said. That's very true. And what did rhythm and blues got to do with with us ninjas <laughs> out here blowing each other up, carjacking, killing? Stabbing, raping. I don't hear no rhythm blue being played when we're killing each other. <laughs> I, I mean, what did that got to do with this garbage that's going on in the world? She just ain't got nothing to talk about. She had a, a twisting narrative. I mean, who cares about music when you stick your head out? You might, you might get a hole in it. Yeah. And you, you better not be walking around with nothing expensive on. And you better not be walking around with blue and red on. Or yellow. I mean, you you, you got to pick your colors. Your colors are limited to what you can wear. Now, sure. where? Why did they do that at? Why is it in there anywhere Tyrese said hey, other black people are better than us? He did not say that. He said they come together. They mm -hmm. work together. They unify. That's what he said. He didn't say they are better than us. I mean, we've been over here four over 400 years, mm -hmm. and these migrants that ran across the border, now they're giving them a, 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 a prepaid card with $1,000 on it a month. What, they, they, they're not giving black people that because you know why? Because we're stupid. We don't know how to ask. Some of us, not all of us. Majority of <laughs> us. There you go. 80% um, of us out here doing stupid stuff. And yeah. these migrants come over here just getting everything, getting houses. They got they got houses and cars now, and they're not even citizens. And they driving around and living in houses mm -hmm. and getting a thousand dollars a month to do anything they want. Mm -hmm. And the women with children getting twenty two hundred dollars a month in food stamps. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm all for you coming over, but come over the right way. 
And why are you uh, you telling black people we ain't got no money? You you know no uh, what you uh reparations. Reparations. Well, <laughs> they just already spent about four billion dollars on <laughs> these migrants. That's why we ain't getting no reparations. They just spent all the money on them. That's true. So why couldn't we have? Why couldn't they have spent that money on us for reparations? You think they, they said remember. they didn't have no money? But they giving out money for wars, migrants. They just spent billions on migrants. So mm -hmm. they, why couldn't we have got paid? Who knows? I don't have an answer for that. I mean, when they when when they was fighting with Japan, they they had the the Japanese over here and and uh. In camps, cause you know they didn't want them to help out the, the other one. Then when they let them out, when the war was over, they let them out. They paid them reparations. Yeah, they sure did. Now we got to tell them nothing. We get nothing. <laughs> like uh, what 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 the uh, what's the name said? It's the hard knocks life for yeah, us. Yeah, instead of treated, we get kicks. Kick. Instead of kisses, <laughs> we get sticks. <laughs> But we, 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 a lot of times we bring it in on ourselves because we can't, we can't get out of our feelings. I mean, they used to kill people because they stepped on your shoes. Yeah. I mean, come on now, really? I mean, this, I was looking at one show, ID, I think it was. Uh -huh. This black dude killed his baby mama because she wouldn't get him a cell phone. Yeah. And then we got, on the disco for men and women. And talking about, oh, you can't forgive. You're doing the right thing in the first place. You want not need to be forgiven. That's right. You want, her, you want to have a main dude, side dude, main woman, side woman. Then when you get caught, you the victim. I mean, when will we learn? Now, now I probably will get some kickback on this, but kick it back. Kick it back. This, you are living in the land of your captives. There you go. Everybody else had a choice to come over here, but black people did not have a choice. We didn't choose whether we want to be over here. We were made and forced to come over here, and we are still living in the land of our captives. And do you think they're going to let you get a foot up? There's very few that's going to get a foot up. I mean, but they're going to get the sneak in the back end of the way. That's right. They are not going to just roll over and let you take over. They are in charge. They are in control. You are a descendant of slaves, and you still acting like slaves because you're sitting up there in prison. And, and come on now, that's it. In prison and graveyard. That's where the, a, a lot of us are. That's true. Are on the corner being cannibals. There you go. I mean, and then and you gonna you gonna put down this man because he told the truth? That, See, that's 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 typical slave mind material. Master, he said this, but he didn't say that. I yeah. mean, do you are you that blind? Are you that emotional? Mm -hmm. Can you not think? No, she can can't. you not reason? No, she can't. I mean, mm -hmm. she not the one. There's a lot of them like. Mm -hmm. I said, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let us know your opinion. What do you think about yeah. this? I mean, I don't see anything wrong with what he said. No. Everything he said was true. Everything he was saying was true. You get uh, Hispanics. They they get a lot of them can live in the same house. They can live together. Yeah. I mean, one time I was at the store, at the grocery store, and there were three Hispanic women. And each one of them uh, buggies were just overflowing and they roll up to the cash register they start rolling out then when that one we got finished no they kept adding stuff on it. each person into their bucket because they were all together yeah and they probably spent about a thousand dollars and all of them pull out their money yeah that's true they pull out them because they knew they lived together they all pulled out their money and paid for it and packed up those three buckets of groceries and went home Yep, I've seen that plenty of times myself. Come on now. And then I'm gonna address the struggle streamers. Woo! Who? Ch if you put all that energy in your channel, maybe oh, it can be it can, your subscribers can do better. <laughs> now you've been on here eight five years, 
and you don't even have a hundred subscribers. Put okay. on, put okay. all that effort in your channel, then maybe it can go somewhere. See, man, that's, that's why blacks can't get along. They too busy in somebody else's business instead of being in their own business. That's true. I mean, uh, I, 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 I don't believe that, and I, I don't think I raised my children to believe that you know don't help family. We, we, we help family. I, I help family. I mean, I, I've, I've had a house full of people, family, live with us. There were about, what, almost 10 of us in the house one time, what? 10. Bunch of them. And we just had one bathroom. One bathroom. Hey. So, you know, come on now. Come on. We we are, we, we got to do better as a people. We got we got to come together as a unit. And if, 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 if those black people come together as a unit, they wouldn't have stayed in slavery that long. But they did, and we still got that same that slave, slave mentality. mentality. There you go. We still got it. So, but, I mean, just like one, one guy was saying, uh, this guy, he, he shot and killed his girlfriend. Uh -huh. And, you know, and he probably been one of them uh, big, bad, uh, uh, gangster boys. And he said, now he said he didn't, he didn't have no problem deleting his his uh, uh somebody with a face the same color as his. But as soon as the white cop roll up, okay, master, I give up, I give up. <laughs> he, he said you got a gun in your waist. Mm -hmm. If you're so bad, why didn't you shoot them? That's true. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's much more we can really say no. on this. No. And whoever believe uh, agree with what this woman said, you says, just as stupid as she is. Stupid is <laughs> as stupid does. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. I mean, this man ain't said nothing that was wrong. And he did not say the other people was better than we. I mean, oh, I, I get embarrassed sometimes when I see all the black people doing all this stupid stuff. Yeah, that's true. But if you, you leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment. And let us, I, I know some people ain't not going to like what I said. I know you're not. I know you're not. But, hey. But, uh, then... But share, share this with somebody. You know that little thumbs up button. Yeah, the thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. No, they don't go cost you nothing. They ain't gonna cost you nothing. They don't cost you nothing to subscribe either. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. Leave a comment either. Yeah. Now, whether you agree or disagree, that's on you. Yeah. Well, even these hateful messages not gonna change what we just no. what story we put out. And if if you if you're that blind, I don't want to hear from you anyway. If you're so blind that you can't see that the black community is sick in his own life support, then you know, live a, you live in your little la la land. You go on over there to the to the land of the Oz <laughs> and live over there. Well, until the next time, people, what you got to say? Well, do better. Yeah, do better. <laughs> Do better, do better. Come on, use use both sides of your brain. Don't just use one side. Use mm -hmm. both sides of your brain. Let's sit down. Let's reason this out. Mm -hmm. Let's think about what we're saying. Well, until next time, people, we out.